Waste another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change, and I feel that you mean it. You mean it. Hello, guys, welcome back to a new video. It has been such a long time since we have uploaded the video, but this video is very much needed. Um, about a year ago, as you all know, um, we made two, two, maybe three videos on DOJ. And surprisingly enough, we have to come back with a new video because we now have everything that I needed back then. Like we literally have a blessing, like someone has come down and given me gold. OK, um, I recorded a video about it. And I lost all the footage, pretty much. Like, the audio just wasn't working. So, you know, recorded the whole video, sat down. The video was absolutely perfect. Went to the editing and just didn't work. So I was like, great. I was like, uh, my video is going up pretty soon. So I better get recording. Um, so, yeah, we're back again. And, you know, I don't know how long this video is going to be. But, yeah. So there's, like... This Google document that was basically published all around Discord and stuff like that. And it's basically of a former COC um, senior staff member in the media team called Brandon V, also known as Roadrunner. So I actually encountered Roadrunner quite a few times in the OJ. Different occasions for different things, really. It was mainly just in-server stuff, um, like as a Civ. That's mainly when I first interacted with him, and it wasn't really the best interaction but at the end of the day you know I feel for anyone that had to put up with Polecat so I do feel for him but there's like Snapchat conversations in 2015 and 2016 uh, between him and Polecat so basically everything that I said in my video was true so all you guys that were like oh yeah you're just doing this for the clout you're doing it for the views uh no I got it right you don't like that, then hmm, tough luck on you then, I guess. I mean, at the end of the day, there's going to be people on YouTube that are going to hate my videos, and there's going to be people that like my videos. And if you don't like the videos, then leave. Didn't ask you to click on it. Simple as that. Pretty much. Couldn't give a fuck. <sighs> oh, dear. Got a sense of that. <clears throat> uh, duh, 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 duh. So, basically, Polecat was asking for gifts in exchange for pictures. I don't know what these pictures were the determined of, but I can only guess they were pictures. Um, and then there's images of the conversation, and then Brandon went live on his Twitch account. His Twitch account got suspended. Poor Brandon. I feel sorry for you, Brandon. Polecat's Twitch account has been suspended, thanks to me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, that has that is the reason why Polecat wasn't live. Uh, we stopped that. Yeah, come on, we done good, guys. We done really good. So, pretty much, they made a role Discord monitor team, and pretty much, if anyone went into the DOJ Discord and was like, "Oh, by the way, uh, Polecat is a pedophile. Polecat is this. Polecat's that." They're just like, "Yeah, we're just deleting messages and ban ya." So. Pretty much, they had to dedicate a role to it because it was just so bad. Officially, as of like a few days ago, go. I just think I got an accent then. Ago, uh, Polka actually left the OJ, so he has now transferred the leadership of the OJ over to Matt. Um, which I actually had a few encounters with Matt, and Matt is such a nice guy. Um, me and Matt done quite a few scenes together. And I've even liked 10, 12 with him. He is the most chillest guy in the world. He is just unbelievable. He's like a man of God. I don't know. <laughs> he's such a cool guy. Um, I can't compliment him enough. And he's done absolutely nothing wrong. So now, obviously, if Polka ever goes back into DOJ, DOJ deserves every bit of hate that it gets. But now Polka is not in there. Do not go and give Matt the hate. He doesn't deserve it. Nor does like any of the administration team that are working for Matt and Darian now, because Matt and Darian are like the de director and deputy director of the OJ. They don't deserve the hate. It wasn't their fault. They couldn't do nothing about it at the end of the day. Because if they went to Polecat and was like, oh, by the way, there's these allegations, are they true or false? He's just going to ban them. So 
at the end of the day, there's not much that they could do other than just wait it out. And they got the, to the positions of where they are now. But um, obviously, my video was made and that obviously impacted DOJ a little bit. And members were like a bit, mm. they were like, OK, well, you've said it, but there's not really much proof that you've got. And that was right. Yeah, I didn't have much proof at the end of the day. But we knew that it was true. And I was like, yeah, I can't be uh, in this server. So, uh, yeah, that's why we left. And then there was a sec second victim that has been named on here on this document. And there's so much information and, like, links on it. It's unbelievable. So I don't know how all of the information's been accessed exactly, but I guess it's been accessed through members of the OJ, ex-members of the OJ. And I guess then we're not going to name them all because obviously if they name them, then that person's going to get terminated from the OJ because that's what they will do. So we got to keep their identity concealed. <laughs> so most of the administration team within DOJ have left and obviously they're not going to probably go back. I'm not too sure on if they are or not. But a lot of the staff, senior staff, uh, junior admins and admins decided, obviously, look, I don't want to be here. I'm going to step down. And I guess that's what they've done. Um, yeah, so obviously, Polecat, I mean, what what's next for him now? Is he going to publicly say like to everyone oh okay you know like are you gonna is he gonna say oh look okay um i'm gonna tell everyone what the truth is is he gonna make a public video regarding it I mean, I think he should, but then again, I think that technically YouTube, Twitch, and every social media platform should take away his rights to actually upload because it's not nice on what he's done. And I mean, the evidence is there to provide them. So hopefully we can get them stopped and that will be the best thing that we can do. Comment down below um, what your comments are about DOJ right now and uh, everything that's going on because... Uh, It'd be interesting to know what you guys think, as obviously it's only myself that's here, so it's only my thoughts and really others what I've got from other people. Um, but let me know what you guys think, so then obviously I can get an idea of what you guys think. We are going to do another video, and it's basically going to be a video on where I speak with like other ex-members of DOJ and kind of see what their idea of it is because then we can get a better idea i mean it's going to be interesting to see where this goes and what polecat's going to do regarding it um he's got some sort of legal team that are basically telling him this is what you got to do this is what you not got to do so it's kind of tricky on what he's actually going to do or not um obviously no statement has come from polecat and no statement has come from any person in DOJ that's high up because they're not going to say unless Polecat basically says because he's, Polecat's not going to tell anyone. But yeah, it'd be interesting to know where this is going to go and obviously it's interesting to know that, you know, I was right all along. But yeah, make sure you go down below and check out the um, document and make sure you, you subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And also make sure to check out my community. See you in a new video. That's a fan, yeah. Bitch, I'm about to blow it up. Gotta play stupid games while I'm showing up. I'm trying to make a change, can't be slow enough.